presents the Med Open 100 Years. Back in the early 80s, there was a playoff between George Bullock and amateur Dick Sitteroff. And George happened to be an assistant pro at Century, where Dick was a member. And I remember when he got on the first tee for the playoff, he reminded George to be nice to members. Oh, the stories. All but seven Met Opens have been won by club professionals, many whose responsibilities lie primarily in the shop and on the range. But through these 100 years, they've provided memories on the course as well. It wasn't always easy, as Darrell Kessner discovered trying to defend his title in 1983. My caddy, Todd Waterman, who is now a Deep Dell member. We were going down the stretch, and I, I never forget, it was a long part three on number 17. Darrell, he says, what, what, what iron are you trying to hit? I said, uh, it was two iron at the time. I go, he says, well, you have four iron. I go, oh. <laughs> I said, good catch there, Todd. Darrell was fortunate enough to win it before me, and I sort of used that as a, uh, you know, stepping stone. It's like, okay, Darrell can get this done, I can get this done. And so Bobby Hines did, breaking through in dramatic style on the final green at Baltusrol in 1988 for his first of two straight wins. Probably had a 40-foot pot with 10 feet of break. You know, sized it up, whatever, hit this pot, and I remember by the time that pot fell, I was off the green to the left. I'd probably ended up 20 feet trying to bring this ball in with body English. Sometimes fate does intervene, like with the exceptionally confident Mike Diffley in 1991. I didn't need practice rounds. I was smart enough and good enough that I could figure it out, um, which I would deny now. And then I went out and blindly shot 69. Went back the next morning and shot 64. So I think I had spent 24 hours on the grounds and was pretty far under. I remember the check, because it was the biggest one I had made. I remember my son climbing on my back, which was pretty cool. My favorite win besides my own was Mike Gilmore's. You know, Mike and I both grew up in Queens. We knew how much it would mean to be local guys uh, winning the event. I knew how good he was, and I stuck around to watch him win, which was phenomenal. I called up my golf chairman, and I said, hey, I just won the Met Open. He says, you sure? Yeah, yeah, I won the Met Open. Uh, I'm coming back, you guys want to hang around? So they all stayed at the club until about 9 o'clock when I got back from Mountain Ridge and, and gave me a standing ovation, which I thought was just spectacular. Memories can accompany losses, too. After 12 years, Kessner won his third title in 1995. Then, two years later, I remember being very close. Rick Hartman was staying with me. I had about a three or four shot lead going into the last round of the creek. And uh, I said, I'll, I'll uh, make you coffee in the morning, Rick, and I, I forgot. He said, for that, I'm gonna shoot 65 on you today. He shoots 64 and beats me by one shot. That's one that hurts the most. But uh, that was his first Met Open win, so that was, it was good. Uh, I should have made him that coffee that, that day, uh, dag on it. The stories are endless and speak to the perseverance this game requires. Like MGA Boys Junior Champion Tyler Hall. This is a serious game changer for me. Tyler's uh, awards presentation speech was powerful in that he was about to quit playing golf and, and he won the Met Open. There were thoughts of moving on to other things, uh, barring a victory here this week, and here I am, this. From Benzel to Brown, Milky to Mosier, Despite different swings and styles, they share the quest for the area's most prestigious title. That was the, the greatest thing uh, that's ever happened to me as far as my, my golfing career goes, uh, winning the Met Open. I always walk over and make sure my name's on the trophy, because <laughs> sometimes you're never sure it's gonna be there. <laughs> was that a dream or not? Next on the Met Open, 100 years, amateur champions and touring professionals.